This episode of the Sloopcast is brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company located in Cary, Ohio, where they say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. Uh, the Mad Canadian will be in Cary, Ohio this Wednesday and Thursday, uh, this from 4 to 7 p.m. This Wednesday, he'll be at the corner of North and Patterson. And this Thursday, he'll be at the Shrine Cafeteria, again, from 4 to 7 p.m. So if you've got no dinner plans or, heck, throw away your dinner plans and go get some of that Mad Canadian barbecue food. Now check out his social medias to find out more information about him and his food truck and where he'll be. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. This episode of the Sloopcast is also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. The Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium, small batch, roast order, veteran-owned, Ohio-based, world-class, hand-roasted coffee company. All of their beans are fair trade certified and USDA organic. Uh, that means that their coffee's done the right way. All of that. That's what all of that means. Is that the, You know that when a company takes responsibility, that, that that responsibility doesn't happen in just one or two areas, that being a company that is based off of being uh, integrity-based, that is honor-based, a, a company that does everything the right way. You know, that means that they're also doing the customer, you, the right way, and that you're getting the best, freshest possible coffee. So you can experience that quality and that integrity for yourself by going to ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. What's going, up, everybody? So this is our this is our Nash. This is our Tuesday episode, which is you know we're still recording it on a Sunday. Kyle and I are still wearing the same shirts that we're on the Monday episode. Just we're we're not trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes. That's just how we do this. Um, we're gonna revisit yes, our tier list. We're gonna talk about some of the other games. Um, if you're tuning into yeah. this wanting Ohio State content, that was the Monday episode. Um, so mm -hmm. we're going to cover sort of the national scope now, um, still from an Ohio state yeah, lens, a, of course, but yeah, it, it was a really good, it was a really good weekend of games here. So let's go ahead and hop into it and talk about these games. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are we doing today, Kyle? I'm all right. How are you, Jared? I think I have another burp coming, so just apologies in advance for that. That's how I'm doing. All right. All right, Jared, this is our Tuesday episode where we will talk about the national scope here. And I think I think this episode, it's Team Chaos came in the door ready to start taking teams here, but it to be nice in the end. Yeah, it wasn't nearly as chaosy as it could have been. That's for sure. Uh, we still saw Michigan State take down Florida. Um, Sparty for real? Question mark. That is, yeah, that is really strange here. Yeah. And we'll I know that Miami is not actually all that good, but we've seen the Spartans lose or almost lose, or maybe even actually lose to like Mac schools in, in, in recent years. So Sparty, Spart Sparty rides again. Is that what we're seeing right now? Maybe. I mean, how many, te how many teams were there? There was one, two, three. I think there was three teams. Yeah. There was three teams that, uh, uh, that team chaos took here. So let's, Let's go ahead and jump into, let's start with the Big Ten news here. Jared mentioned Michigan State taking down Miami of Florida 38 to 17. Kyle, I think it's time to uh, jump into the tier list as well. So let's get that going. Going to do this. Going to do that. And and I don't know what, what this is, so that's just going to go away. And uh, right. let's get our... We don't want to lose our live chat, folks, even though I don't necessarily know where to put them. I'm putting them right on Kyle's face. What do you think about that? No. Sure. Okay. We'll put them, we'll put them down here. 
All right. All right. Um, All right. So let's let's kind of go down the list here, Jared, um, of what we have in our notes here. So Michigan State, where do we have Michigan State currently? Currently at a C, I think it's time to move them to a B. I think you got to move them out of B right now. They ha- they've had some good victories so far, especially well, it, especially now we have one over Miami here. Now now that we have one over a legit opponent, but you know the other two opponents not so much. And do I think they stay to B all season? Probably not. But I, I think they deserve to be a B right now. Yep. All right, Oklahoma. Wait, uh, do we do we drop Miami? Win. Miami. Uh, where's Miami? Currently a D. Uh. Yeah, you can keep them at a D. You can keep them at a D. Fair enough. Yeah. Oklahoma squeaks out a win over Nebraska 23 to 16. Nebraska had a chance to win this here and phew. You, you you're talking about you're talking about a team I know we covered in Monday's episode where we have a lot of upset Buckeye fans here not looking all that good. Oklahoma not looking all that good against a um a not that good Nebraska team. You know, Kyle, we we already did the Ohio State game on the Monday episode. And one of the things I wanted to ask you before we got maybe too deep into this, does Ohio State deserve, continue to deserve to be in the A tier? But now I'm starting to wonder, does anybody? Let's look at our A tier right now. Clemson almost lost to Georgia Tech. Their offense is anemic. Oklahoma, Kyle just talked about it. Um, Cincinnati, don't let that final score fool you. They barely beat Indiana, who's not all that good. Um, Iowa is a new addition to the A tier. I I think that they're a good quality team, but they're talently limited. I I don't see them going above an A tier. Um, We should probably move Penn State up into the A tier. I would say that, but move. Yeah, move Penn State. Yeah, move Penn State up there. Uh, we'll we'll talk about that real quick. So Penn State I beating just, Auburn 28, 28 to twenty there. Uh but I, yeah, but I, thought, I, I thought I sorry, I don't want to jump into that game yet. I just yeah. want to look at this A tier of teams, including Ohio State and Oklahoma. I I don't know who belongs in the A tier, right? What is the A tier right now? Because our S tier is Georgia. Oklahoma, or excuse me, or Georgia, Oregon, and Alabama, and I think that's pretty indisputable. Um, I I just I think there's a huge gap in between S and A right now. I think maybe is all I'm trying to say. I think there's a huge gap between the S tier and the A tier at the moment. I think I think this early on three weeks end. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so we uh, are going to keep Oklahoma. It, 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 Clemson, Cincinnati, Ohio State in the A tier, but it's with acknowledgement that there's a huge gap between S and A. Is that is now, that Nebraska? Fair? Yes. Now Nebraska, do you want to keep them down at the bottom of the list there? No, no. F tier should be reserved for the worst of the worst, and I'm not saying they're good, but they're no longer the worst of the worst after a really nice showing against Oklahoma. So we'll bump them up to an E. I, I think we need to reserve that F tier for. Very bad football. All right. So Cincinnati, as Jared uh, mentioned, um, beats Indiana by 14, but that really was a lot closer game. Cincinnati just made it a 14 point victory there at the end. Um, Cincinnati, I think you still keep them at the eight A tier. That's a that's a quality win on the road. And they got Notre Dame coming up here. So that's they 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 could possibly be just staying right there in the A tier the rest of this year. We need to talk about Notre Dame status in the B tier while we're at it. That's a that's a lousy football team. I don't care. I don't care. That's a lousy football team. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Notre Dame Notre Dame beats Purdue twenty seven to thirteen, and it was a lot closer. Um, or, um, I think at halftime, I think it was like ten three, ten seven, something like that at halftime. Yeah, and it should be noted that Purdue is like. Very bad. <laughs> it's a very bad football team. Um, and between that and their run in with was it Toledo, right? Last week with Notre Dame. I want to drop I want to drop 
I don't know. The B, it's not like the B tier is all that prestigious anyway. So maybe we can keep them there, but. I, I just keep them until they lose. Keep them until they lose. Well, right I now. wouldn't say that, but well, well, we'll see what happens with Cincinnati. So, Kyle, if we're for reevaluating what the tiers mean, um, I think we need to maybe talk about Florida had a really nice showing against Alabama. I think they belong in the A tier. Yeah, I put them in the A tier right now. They they stuck to it. It could have been like Alabama could have just taken that to the um just taken that away. Like it was 21 to three. Yeah. At one point and Florida just didn't curl up in a ball and just took it. They, Lesser teams would have quit. They, they, they fought back there. So uh, big, yeah, I put, I, I put Florida a right now, but yeah, big respect for Florida for like going down 21 to nothing against Alabama. It's Alabama and not folding and coming back and making that a game. So let me ask you this, Jared, because it's got to be brought up. The team up north. The team up north, do they need to go up to the B tier? They're they're taking care of business as they should here. Uh, they are. They're not playing all that quality of opponents, but they're taking care of business like they should. Their, their running game is really good. Their defense is looking pretty good here. What's their best are win they so far? Where you, can move up, where, where you can move them up to the B tier. What's what's their what's their best win right now? <laughs> that is that is a good question. Um, maybe Washington. I'm sorry. What? Washington, maybe who's Washington? currently in our F tier. Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Washington lost to an FCS school. They are punished to the F tier for the rest of the season. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Right, fine. We'll keep we'll keep Michigan at C tier here. Uh Minnesota. Minnesota shuts out Colorado, who Colorado almost beat Texas AM the week before. Transitive does that property. Mean Minnesota, does that no. mean does that mean Minnesota is better than Texas AM? We don't we don't do the transitive property here. Um yeah, I know. <laughs> but I, I do think it's a good again, I okay, you talk about a team that could have, after losing their best player, could have crumpled. But they, but they haven't. They keep fighting. This is a this is a quality ish win. Not that Colorado Colorado is currently in our E tier. It's not like Colorado's good. I'm not saying they are. Um, it's probably. I I'm 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 comfortable with Minnesota at the B tier. Okay. Um, let's see. We talked about Penn State moving up there, beating Auburn twenty eight to twenty. Very solid win and a great win. For the Big Ten Conference, you, you talk about you talk about some of the wins here that the Big Ten has win over the SEC, you have a win over the Pac-12, you have a win over the ACC this weekend here. It was a, it was a pretty good showing and could have been more. Purdue, Purdue really um, fought in with Notre Dame. Indiana had a chance with Cincinnati and Nebraska was right there with Oklahoma. It was a good showing overall for the Big Ten. Big Ten lost three out of conference games this weekend. All of them close games and all of them against top 10 or or is Notre Dame top 10? 12. All right. So, but all against top 12 teams. None of those were good Big Ten teams. Like Indiana out of that is your best team. And they're going to finish what in the Big Ten East this year? fourth yeah maybe yep so that's your best they're going to finish fourth in the big 10 division and that's that was your best team in those three in those specific three out of conference games they all three almost won them against top 12 opponents those are quality losses for teams at the the point in development that those three teams are Mm -hmm. Don't look now, Jared. But we could. I'm. I'm looking at who they play next here. Uh, yeah, actually, it is this weekend. Don't look now, Jared. We got. We got undefeated Rutgers taking on Michigan this weekend. That'll make it into the sloop picks. Make sure to listen on Friday. <laughs> we'll talk about that game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, right, um. Let- Let's go ahead and uh, talk about the the rest of the 
the games outside the Big Ten after our sponsors. Yeah, let's do that. Um, Kyle, Iron Bean Coffee Company. Where'd my show notes go? I lost it. Iron Bean Coffee Company is an Ohio-based out of Perrysburg, which is near Toledo, Ohio Coffee Company. Uh, let's talk about some of their dark roast coffees because I already told you about all the integrity and why you should buy for them. Let's talk about some of the coffees. Um, there's the Fierce, which is a dark roast coffee made with 100% Arabica beans. It'll give you the edge and the confidence to slay your day. Uh, there's the Rocco, which is available in both medium and dark. It's a special uh, Ethiopian blend. Uh, it's, it's just the coffee that like insists on being noticed. It's an excellent coffee. Uh, there's the Integrity. I told you about how this is an integrity based company. Well, they named one of their coffees integrity, as a matter of fact. Uh, this is their flagship roast. Uh, if you're an espresso drinker, they recommend you use these beans. Uh, but Kyle, I think my favorite dark roast is probably the drink from the skull of your enemy, which is a traditional Indonesian coffee. Um, it's smoky. It's creamy. Uh, it's got like notes of cedar and tobacco and wine and spice. It's, 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 it's so many of the things I love wrapped up into a coffee. That's probably my favorite of the dark roast. I know that we have some Odin loyalists in our discord who absolutely love the Odin, which is another dark roast. And don't forget about the fear. No evil. If you, if you're like, eh, you know, dark roasts are nice, but you know what I want, Kyle, I want a black roast. I want darker than dark. Well, uh, sir, I have for you the fear. No evil. But you can find those coffees and a bunch more coffees over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode is also brought to you by our good, good friends over at the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Uh, Mad Canadian Barbecue Company has a food truck that we've been mentioning for the past few months now. Um, great reviews. I've heard from numerous of family and friends who love, live up in the Northwest Ohio area. Absolutely loves the food truck um, that that the group has um, up in that area. Uh, they tend to stay in the northwest, north part of Ohio. So, trying to convince them to come to Central Ohio. So, if you keep if you keep Adam on social media, just keep nagging him to come to to Central Ohio. Hopefully, he can he can make a trip here one of these times. But for this week, he'll be he'll be staying home in Cary this Wednesday and Thursday, four to seven p.m. Wednesday, he'll be on the corner of North and Patterson. And this Thursday, he'll be at the Shrine Cafeteria again from 4 to 7 p.m. So come hungry, come get some great barbecue from the Mad Kenny Barbecue Company, where they are the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. Kyle, uh, since we're starting to talk outside yeah. the Big Ten here, um, I think it's time to drop Virginia Tech. Uh, I think that their win over North Carolina probably said more about North Carolina than it did about them. And with that same sweeping motion, probably move West Virginia up, who beat Virginia Tech and did so, I think, more convincingly than the final score indicates. So I think mm -hmm. uh, I think they both belong in C. Yep, I'm I'm good with that. I am good with that. Uh, Moving on here, Texas A&M. I'll we'll have to work on that. There you go. Uh, Texas A&M takes care of business over New Mexico. Uh, I think they stay at a B, B tier there. Yeah. I don't I don't have an issue with them staying at the B team. No, that's fine. Coastal, Coastal Carolina that Jared had to make up here uh, squeaks by the Buffalo Bulls. 20 to 25. I keep about the C tier there. Yeah, that they I know they're incredibly highly ranked, but beat someone and don't struggle yeah. against a really bad Mac school. All then right, we'll move you up. Clemson beats Georgia Tech 14 to 8. There was a long uh, delay, weather delay that happened down in South Carolina, but it still was a slow, slow game there for Clemson as they only put up 14 points. But their defense is still pretty good. Still pretty good there. So do they stay in the A tier? Yeah, I, again, there's a huge gap between S and A right now. Everyone in A is incredibly flawed. Cincinnati doesn't have the talent. Oklahoma's inconsistent on offense. Clemson has 
strug- straight nope. struggled on offense. Ohio State struggling on defense. Um, everyone in A tier is flawed. That's that. That's just how we have to acknowledge that and move forward. All right. Um, we already talked about Florida, but they put up a valiant effort to um, to Alabama, losing thirty one to twenty nine. We moved. Florida up to A, Alabama stays there. A, no changes there. Oh, Alabama's uh, an S. Nope. Yeah, yes. Arkansas. And, and, and yes, Buckeye and, Zach, Alabama should remain at S. I, I think it to, yeah. to suggest they should drop is incredibly disrespectful of how well Florida played. Mm-hmm. Arkansas beats a Georgia Southern team. Uh, wherever you have Arkansas, you can just keep them where they're at. Uh, <laughs> Georgia, Georgia takes care of business over Southern South Carolina, 40 to 13. Keep them where they're at. North Carolina beats Virginia in a high scoring affair, 59 to 39. I still like North Carolina's offense. So I'd I'd keep them at the B tier there. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure where you have I'm not sure where you have Virginia at. I don't even have uh, them on the chart. I don't even have them ranked there. Um if you want to keep them on rank, that's fine. If you Want to rank them? I'd probably put them at like E tier or something like that. I, uh, you know, as long as you didn't say C, because C is getting full. All right. Uh, let's see. Oregon takes care of takes care of business from Stony Brook. Yeah, no change. Or, no change there. Ole Miss beats Tulane sixty-one to twenty-one. Is Ole Miss a team that we need that we need to pay attention to? I'm sorry, who'd they beat? Uh, Tulane, who gave Oklahoma a run for their money uh, last week. Oh, well, let's let's be honest. That says a hell of a lot more about Oklahoma at the moment, who nearly lost to Nebraska. Okay. Uh, All right, where, do you, where do you have Ole Miss at right now? Uh, where do I have Ole Miss at right now? I have them at have C. At... We can move them up to a B if you want to. Yep. You can move them up to a B. They're they're ranked thirteenth right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how Ole Miss does here in the coming weeks. BYU beats Arizona State. Um, you can keep BYU where they're at right now. Oh, it's a it's a D tier um, though. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Maybe you can move them up to C. Maybe yeah. You can the, move them up to C. The yeah. It, it, it's not it's not getting into C tier shouldn't be that difficult really. All right. Uh, Iowa State. Takes care of UNLV forty-eight to three. Uh, they're, they're uh, I fine think, where they're at. I think Iowa State's a have. really. I think Iowa State's a really good team. I think I'm not. Sh- I don't quite see where you have them. Um, I think they should be at the B tier if they're not. Yeah, Iowa State's B tier. All right, here's a, here's a team I think that we need to move down though. Uh, UCLA losing to Fresno State. 40 to 37. So where do you have UCLA? Is it like B. up there at B tier? Yeah, B. So do you think you should move them down to C to C, maybe potentially D tier? Oh, not the D. Uh, Fre- Fresno, I think you're. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying they should have lost to Fresno. I'm not, I'm not trying to make a. Hey, Fresno is good, actually, sort of case, but they. They did perform incredibly well against Oregon. Um, but, you know, they also played Cal Poly and Connecticut in the other two games. Y- yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it- it's it's hard to say because they've played three or excuse me, they played two real games. They beat UCLA and they played really, really well. They played better against Oregon than we played against Oregon, Kyle. Um I kind of don't want to disrespect disrespect Fresno like that, to be honest with you. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. That's fine with you. I mean, I'm, I'll, I'm still right. I'll still move them down to UCLA down to the B tier, but I'm not moving or excuse me, the C tier, but I'm not moving down any further than that. All right. So some of the other teams we have not talked about. Uh, let's see, we talked to everybody. The S A B uh, looks like uh, LSU. We haven't talked about. Um, uh, they beat a directional Michigan team 49 to 21 Not i think they stay shot. in the c tier. Yep, i think they stay there in the um in the c tier. let me let me ask what's uh, what's what's lsu's best win currently i think I, I don't know if they belong in c 
Um, yeah, no, that, that is a good question. Yeah, their, their best is actually probably this one here, Central Michigan, because their oh, only other victories against McNeese. We're moving them down to D tier. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Wisconsin, I do not believe they played this weekend. I don't believe so, no. Uh, Arizona State lost. Should we move them down to a D tier? I think you should move them down to a D tier. Yep. Uh, Maryland and Rutgers won. Uh, We talked about all those other teams that's in the C tier. So the D tier there. I, by the way, uh, Indiana, I think became like a a bubble C tier team that maybe could have been a D tier team, and now they're a solid C tier for yep. whatever that's worth to anybody. Let's see. Texas shuts out Rice fifty eight nothing. Texas can stay where they're at. Purdue, you want to keep Purdue at D, or do you think Purdue is just not that good and you move need to move them down to E, or do you think they? Should stay at D just because of their valiant efforts against um, against Notre Dame. I think D's fine. I, I just think Notre Dame's not very good, honestly. Um, I think we're okay. one week away from moving Notre Dame down to the C tier because I think Cincinnati's going to take it to them. I think Cincinnati's going to mm-hmm. take it to them hard, as a matter of fact. So I, I think Notre Dame's just renting their status in B territory right now. Um, okay. That, that so problem will fix USC, itself. USC uh, off to a slow start, um, kind of like Ohio State, but just dominated Washington State in the second half, um, 45 to 14. I think you can keep USC at D. I think Miami, you can keep them at D. Utah. Uh, well, we just moved Miami Utah, to D for what it's worth. I think, U- I think Utah, you might want to move down to E tier now. Utah uh, now losing two games in a row. They lost in. Triple overtime to San Diego State. San Diego where State. Utah, yep, where their best win now is against Weber State. So move, move them down to E tier. Right um, Kyle, are you, are you looking at the graphic right now? Because I'm flirting with this. I'm flirting with the F tier right now. All right, you do you. You do you. <laughs> I don't. No, no, no. It's a group decision. It's a- I, I, I said put them in. Put them in E. e put them in E okay. for right now. Uh, they're at we, the bottom of the E. But, but, the, but guys, Zach, we, we already moved BYU up from D to C tier. Yeah. All right. Uh, who, who else we got there? Stanford. Uh, Stanford. Oh, Did they play? I didn't even see. They beat, they beat an SEC team. They can stay at the D tier. Vanderbilt? Be Vanderbilt. Yes. <laughs> I just assumed. I just it was a total guess. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um did it Pitt lose? Yeah, Pitt lost to Western Michigan. Move Pitt down to like F tier. Like who has who has Pitt? Oh, they did beat Tennessee. Okay. They did did beat Tennessee, so you can keep them at E tier there. Yeah, I mean let, let's be honest. It's not like E tier is exactly uh elite status anyway. Yeah. And who we else, just moved got Arizona I think that, State and LSU down here. All right. I, I think that's there. Um, we had Virginia at E, Northwestern, ugh, Northwestern, Northwestern, Northwestern. Uh, they, they, came, they started coming back, but couldn't beat Duke this weekend. Uh, Northwestern's best win is Indiana State, but they lost to Michigan State and Duke. I, I think you keep them there. Okay. Keep them there at F. At e. Yeah, keep them there at E. Mississippi State, uh, is this too rough on Mississippi State? They belong in D. I don't even know who they played. Do you know who they played? Anybody know? Memphis, and they lost. I mean... They lost to Memphis? Yes, yeah. Move move, the, move Mississippi I mean, State down. Memphis is a Memphis is a good team and like let's not disrespect memphis they are oh. well basically the equal of cincinnati the past two years let's not let's not all right fine i'm just saying don't don't yeah. disrespect memphis you're, like you're, that you're, you're right you're, you're you're right all right nc state um takes care of business over Furman. they can stay where they're at you don't your, Tennessee your status doesn't state change over a game with Furman one way or the other yeah 
Tennessee stays where they're at. Colorado stays where they're at. Uh, Nebraska stay where they're at. And the others, we kept them there. And then oh, yeah. down Nebraska, in the Nebraska, Utah, and Pitt are all new additions to the tier. Yep. Uh, Nebraska. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Illinois. Moving on. Illinois. Yeah, they lost again. Uh, they lost again. They're now one in three for, for the year. Um, Oregon State's bad. Florida State, 0-3. Washington's not good. And Kansas is just bad. All right, Kyle. Uh, should we introduce anybody to the list that we don't yet have added to the list? Um, for example, Georgia Tech had a decent showing against Clemson. Duke won a game. Uh, we were just talking about Memphis. I think we can... Well, put- Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's um, best win, who who also lost to Northern Illinois, their best win is against Kennesaw State. I uh, okay, you've made your point. Um, I'm going to introduce them to the chart, but I'm going to put them at E. Kyle, what about Kentucky? Did did, did Kentucky have a you real crap uh, showing against Tennessee Chattanooga this weekend? They almost lost to, to Chattanooga. Yeah. Uh, Tennessee is 3-0. Who's their best win? But they're back. Missouri. I'm a- Which Missouri is Missouri's one and one with not a excuse me. I'm sorry. No, they're two and one where their best win is a directional Michigan team. Go ahead and introduce Missouri yeah. and Kentucky yeah. both to the E tier. Um, anyone else? Should we put Tulsa on the list since Ohio State just played them? Maybe as a sure. e, another E tier team. You can put them at E then. Yep. Uh, and, and what do you, what do you think, guys? Uh, anyone who you're seeing currently down here who we should introduce to the list? Uh, Lou, didn't Louisville have a nice win this weekend? Um, yeah, well, they beat UCF. Yeah, they beat UCF this weekend. Yeah, let's let's throw you let's throw Louisville on the list. What are you thinking? Like a D tier? They, they are two and one with their only loss to Ole Miss. So, yeah, you can put them at D. You can put it in D. I'm fine. Uh, just because we Army. haven't introduced them to the list yet, Stuart. Um, Kyle, what, what's Army done so far? Army put up 52 points against UConn. Yeah. Which is probably their best win, either that or Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky is probably a better win, if we're being honest. See, so th- I think that that's why. Yeah. Stuart, I feel like you might be biased, Mr. E4 US <laughs> vet. Um, it's just that they haven't played anyone of, of real note. Like, we don't necessarily know what to do with them. That's That's all. Yeah. And also like all these other teams, I know we're just, we're over the 30 minute mark right now, all these other teams, maybe they'll make it onto the, make it onto our list, but nobody that I'm really worth while to talk about. Yeah. You can move UCF there, but I'm whatever. I don't Yeah, Maybe some of these other teams might make it to the list here, but we'll, we'll keep adding to this as our weeks go on here. But Jared, that is, that is all here. Um, didn't really get any questions for the national scope here, but I think that's probably for the best as we are over on time as usual. Per normal. All right. So do I go into my thing here then? Yes. Uh, you know, actually, can I do one more thing real quick? Let's, let's take a look at the Oklahoma state Cowboys before we do that. Let's take a look at the Oklahoma state Cowboys. Uh, they had a one win or excuse me, a one point win this weekend. Uh, over Boise State and Boise's not who Boise once was by by any means. Um, they are currently bar- they barely won against Tulsa, which okay, irony acknowledged. Um, barely won against Missouri State. Barely won against a Boise team who like we're not we're we're still we're not we're no longer in that hey Boise's actually good stage. Um, so. Dear Oklahoma State, I congratulate you. I have deemed you the worst 3-0 team in the country. Um, 
welcome to E tier. And I feel like you're renting space there for being honest. Okay, Kyle, that's it. That's the end of the episode. So um, let me jump back into this view. All right. Want to encourage everyone to check out the sloopcast.com. There you can find all of our social media stuff, our Twitters and Instagrams and all that. Come join the Discord. We're having tons of fun in the Discord. Um, I'm tweeting less and less and less, and that's because I'm hanging out in the Discord instead. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's heavily moderated. Um, you know, we we do a lot of work to protect our culture over there. Uh, so it's yes, gangland. We do do a good job there gangland one of our moderators that was supposed to be temporary but i've just not taken it away from him yet um so yeah come join the discord uh we've we've received a few new uh uh patreons lately um i actually don't know if they uh they'll, i'll just say that they're illinois buckeye and uh buckeye esquire in our discord server um I don't know if they want me saying their actual names or not. So I'll just I'll just address them by their discord names. Um, and yeah, come, you know, it's only three dollars a month and that gives you full access to literally everything um, in, in as far as the discord server goes. So it like it's three dollars a month. You can pay for 12 months up front and it's like 32 bucks because there's a little bit of a discount if you pay for 12 months up front. Um, so if you don't, just like, oh, I don't want to have a just even if it's just three dollars, I don't want to have a monthly recurring thing on my credit card, even if it's only three dollars, because that's annoying. I get it. You can just do one big, big thirty two dollar purchase for the entire year. So it's pretty easy. Um, it's just like I said, it's sloopcast.patreon.com. Um, that's that's absolutely the wrong address. Ignore that I just said that. Patreon.thesloopcast.com. It's $3 a month, $32 for an entire year. Come join us. That's all I'm saying. And then if you just want to check out the Discord server, Eve, just as a free trial, because the server is mostly free. It's mostly a free server. Uh, just check out discord.thesloopcast.com. If you don't know what Discord is, it's kind of like it's like a casual version of like Microsoft Teams or Slack or something like that. It's a, it's, it's an organized chat program. So, um, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Um, I did see early on, Jared. But guys are a 53. That's 5-3 point favorite over Akron. Akron's bad. Akron's very bad. I, I, I said it. I think I said it in the Discord server somewhere. It, Akron is by far not even close. Like not not even a conversation. The worst team we're going to play this year. So just for whatever it's worth, I think we will finally see like Kyle McCord take some snaps this weekend. Not start. Don't 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 even with me. Not start, but we're going to see Kyle McCord take some snap. But anyway, we'll talk about that on the uh, on the Thursday episode. So come listen they to did, us. They did. Break Ak down everything you need to know about the Akron Zips. No, not really. Yeah. A Akron did lose to Auburn, as we mentioned earlier, did lose to Auburn 60 to 10. Just want to keynote there. <laughs> Fair enough. That's it, Jared. All right, uh, Kyle, remember a couple of weeks ago, remember when I played Hawthorne Heights on the show? Uh-huh. We're going to do it again. You want to know why we're going to do it again? Because they have a new album out. They have a new album out. So uh, we're going to... A partial blast from the past in that the band's a blast from the past, but it's a new album. I don't know which song I'm going to play yet. I'll figure that part out later. But uh, this is this is from the new Hawthorne Heights album. Um, I haven't pre-listened to this yet. It just came out. It just came out last week, so we'll find out together if it's any good or not. And <laughs> with all of that being said, um, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Hawthorne Heights.